what's up guys this is KD Cloudy and here is iOS 12 running on my second generation iPad mini from 2013 that was five years ago so Apple and WWDC decided to support a whole bunch of 64-bit iOS devices for iOS 12 five years later which makes sense because those devices like the iPhone 6 5s are some of the most popular iOS devices ever which are still being used by people today and not just support but quote doubling down on performance and these devices weren't crazy future-proof devices at all no matter how much you talk about iOS optimization these are still devices with a 1.2 gigahertz processor and just 1 gig of RAM running the latest software in 2018 and the most obvious question which arises is that how does it work is it any good so yeah let's check it out Alright, so let's get to some of the more obvious changes I found for the iPad. Firstly, you get the iPhone 10 like swipe gestures to go home, get to the multitasking tray, all that stuff. And it's pretty nice to use. Um, maybe it's hinting at a future bezel-less, home button-less iPad, uh, but yeah, we'll see. And as a result, the control center has been shifted to an upper right corner swipe, just like the iPhone 10 and like older Android versions. And right here you notice a glitch, not really a big deal, it's the first beta after all. And yeah, overall these gestures feel really smooth and overall the experience feels much more responsive than older iOS versions. Even app launching is pretty surprisingly smooth enough, so yeah. But yeah, the biggest downside of this entire update is that it's still iOS with all its iOS quirks and the notification system still feels pretty substandard compared to Android. And that's just my opinion, that's just my taste of how I like my notifications. I don't mean to offend anyone. But what I do like in the new set of features is the new usage monitor feature. Uh, it gives you a nice overview of how you're using your device, allows you to limit that and curb your addiction and it's pretty neat. But besides that, there have been some more changes within the apps which I don't really care about because I am totally not an Apple service user. I just use this 16 gig tablet once in a while to scroll through Twitter, stream YouTube and Netflix content, that's it. And with this new update, even in the first beta, I keep wanting to use my iPad more and it really seems promising from a stability point of view and even the battery life has been pretty good so far. And can't wait for the final release for it to be more stable and stuff. And now looking ahead onto iOS 13 next year, I feel it's going to be a major overhaul and that will be a breaking point for these then 5 to 6 year old devices as we get more bezel less and more home button less hardware from Apple. And at that point of time we can expect these old form factors to be slowly pushed away from being supported. Yet as of now I'm still glad and props to Apple for having this device up and healthy so far. And yeah, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.